Hello everyone, Kalina of Story Retold, and here is how you can install the Nancy Drew games on Windows 11 PCs. FYI, you can install all of them and it'll work just fine. There is no extra weird steps you need to take like you had to do for Windows 10. Windows 11 accepts 32-bit um, applications and they work. So I installed every single Nancy Drew game from Steam. I downloaded all of them, installed all of them, no problems whatsoever. I also uh, downloaded and installed a few games from Her Interactive, the digital downloads. Those also work just fine. And also, um, I tried out a few discs. I tried these two right here, Stay Tuned for Danger and the original Seekers Can Kill. And while there is like one extra thing you have to do, it's easier this time with Windows 11. So you know what? Go ahead, go install. You can probably figure this out on your own. You can stop the video right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you though what it looks like to install. A few tips. If you purchased a digital game from Steam, a digital Nancy Drew game from Steam, and you uninstall it, you will be able to reinstall later because you own it within Steam's client. If you um, install via a disc, if you keep the disc, you'll be able to reuse that disc and play it and install it and play it again. But if you download a digital game from her interactive site, make sure you save a copy of that digital file on an external or hard drive or thumb drive, just so you have it. So that when you uninstall from the computer, you still have a backup copy. Because when you un uninstall a game, uh, on the computer from Her Interactive, you'll not be able to get it back again. You cannot download it again from the Her Interactive website. So just keep that in mind. You wanna say that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into showing you how to install the games, um, particularly with the discs, but I'll, I'll let you see what it looks like when you install from Steam and from Her Interactive. Here we go. So real quick for Steam, this one's pretty easy. Once you launch the Steam client and select your game from the library, you can go ahead and click the install button. If you want to create a desktop shortcut, this is your chance to do so. The default location for Steam is perfectly fine. So just click next and wait for the download. You can see the progress down here. Once it is done downloading and installing, just click on the play button and you can start playing the game. So if you downloaded a digital game from herinteractive.com, you may or may not have a digital download manager as the file first. Some games have it, some games do not, but for here, Sea of Darkness, it does. Download here and install the download manager, which helps with um, like internet throttling, so it helps with your download, because the files are big. So follow this, agree to the terms, and just follow the prompts here. Then follow the installation process buttons. It doesn't matter which location you save this to, but you can choose if you want. Then follow through the installation process here. Accept the license agreement. Choose the location if you want, but you know what? With Windows 11, the default is perfectly fine. Then hit finish and play the game. Here I am installing Nancy Drew Stay Tuned for Danger by disk. So I inserted it into my disk drive, but nothing will happen right away. So you, what you want to do is open up a window, a file explorer window, navigate to this PC and click on your disk drive here. Now for some of the other game titles, it might have a different name, but you pretty much want the one that says exe and it is a setup you can see it's listed as an application by type here so double click on that to get started with the installation process follow through with the installation buttons again it does not matter where this game is installed to because the windows 11 will find it use the recommended installation type when you get to the Select Components screen right here, select No, I will install DirectX myself. The chances are that your machine will have the latest version of DirectX and you don't want to install this older version. 
Then you can start playing your game. If you have trouble with any one particular of the Nancy Drew games, please let me know in the comments below which game and from where did you buy it so that maybe I could try to help you out. We'll see. But thank you for watching. Good luck and enjoy playing those Nancy Drew games, especially those old discs. Mmm, yay! Plus one for Microsoft. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!